Okay, a lot of you have asked how I have so much energy and what my daily routine is. Because uh, I'm 60 years old and just have a lot of energy. And I'll tell you what I do for my day. Okay, in the morning I just eat fruit. Right now I'm eating, uh, I'm eating some watermelon because I just happen to have that. And... Uh, then I'll go do my running. I do three mile run. I've already done that for today. And uh, then I go upstairs and do my weight exercise routine. I'll show you my exercise routine right here. And then um, I always make me a juice shake. And what I do is I put banana in there and then a mixture of, of, it, of fruits. And uh, so that's my morning routine. And then I'll, then I do my mush. I'm making that now. I'll show you my mush. And that's a, a six grain or nine grain, depending on which one I buy. And I'll show you the recipe right here for the nine grain. And then I'll, I'm going to take you on a, show you how I shop. Okay, because a lot of it is in what you eat. And I don't mix my fruits with my vegetables. That's a big no-no. Um, that's why I eat my fruits in the morning. Because... Fruits and vegetables do not mix. You can maybe mix, uh, it's too cold out there. You can maybe mix lettuce and celery because they're really high water content. But even the watermelon, I won't, the watermelon is really high water content, so I don't mix that with my denser fruits because uh, it just makes it easier for your body to digest. And um, I'll explain real quick. Uh, why you don't mix the fruits and the vegetables. You don't mix the fruits and vegetables because your digestive, digestive system is alkaline or acidic and and your body doesn't secrete any juices to digest your um, your fruits. And so if you eat fruit with food it sits in your system uh, until the other food is digested and it sits and putrefies and sends toxin, uh, toxins and poisons all throughout your system. So you don't want that, right? So just eat your fruit on an empty stomach and you don't send all those toxins and poisons. Um, I haven't been sick for 32 years because I started doing that. So that's, that's why I don't mix my fruits and my vegetables because it's very bad for your body to send those toxins and poisons. And the fruits, they sit in that you know, your body's hot inside, it's 98 degrees, and you put fruit with that, uh, it's not pretty. Very toxic, and that goes all through your system. So, fruits are good for you, but you need to eat them with wisdom and not to mix them with anything. And a lot of people like to mix their, make a fruit and vegetable mix that they drink in the morning. I don't. I just do the fruit. And then I do my vegetables late at night. We'll get to that later on. Thank you. Also, I drink a bunch of water. I just do this in the morning, and I put lemon oil, a couple drops of lemon oil in, because that's a blood cleanser, and a little bit of peppermint for my digestive tract. And a lot of times, uh, I found out that people really don't want to hear what what you eat, because because food's almost like a religion. You tell people they can or cannot eat something, they get they get kind of mad. Like I haven't I haven't drunk I quit drinking milk 32 years ago, and people get mad at that. And I rarely eat beef. I eat chicken and fish and turkey, but I do eat beef every time I go out and eat somewhere. I usually have a steak, but you know. People just don't want to hear it, and I, I don't drink pop. I'll drink it at parties and stuff, but uh, I'm just not a pop drinker because I'm a runner. And if you're a runner, if you drink pop, it, it uh, makes it so you can't breathe as well. So I don't want to, I want to be able to breathe when I'm running. So I'm not a pop drinker, and some people just don't want to hear that. But I'm just saying what I do, and I'm not telling anybody to do anything else. I'm just saying this is what I do, and... I believe this is why I have a lot of energy. I've got my juice shake ready, and I just drink that, and there's no vegetables in there, and then my mush is ready, and I'll show you. I, um, I do have the recipe for it, but I've added other things, and I'll show you what I do for that. Okay, I like to get some Brazilian nuts. 
on that. Not that many. Just a small handful and some almonds. That's what I like to put in my mouth. Then I have flax seeds, chia seeds, and some sesame seeds. Okay. Then I like to put in some olive oil. That's a handful of nuts. And then I put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. I mean, uh, coconut oil. Put that in. Chop these up. And that's my mush for the day. And that's what I add to the mush recipe. And remember, I'm not telling anybody to do this. This is just what I do. Um, okay, and I just put in maybe a tablespoon of chia seeds. Uh, maybe a tablespoon of sesame seeds, uh, some flax seeds, about a tablespoon. Just sprinkle them in there. Then I'll chop up these nuts. And okay, so it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I woke up about 9.30. So all I've had so far is watermelon, and I'm really full, and i got to drink my water, and i got to drink my shake, and by the time I get around to my mush, it'll be 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Then I'll just do my dinner. So... Oh, that's just that's just what I do in the morning and in the afternoon. Now, if I got up earlier, then I'd start earlier because I don't get to bed till two in the morning. So, so that's my routine for the morning. Oh yeah, we quit drinking milk um, because my kids were highly allergic to it, and so we just totally went off milk. And you don't need milk after age three anyway. But people will argue with that. If you want to drink milk, go ahead. But we quit drinking it because milk is for cows, and it's really high in casein, and that's glue. Uh, so we just don't drink it. And you can get your calcium other places, and you can look that up. And you, the milk is not the only source for calcium. And and if you're allergic to it, if it causes you to be sick a lot and gums you up then you know why because it's meant for a baby cow with four stomachs and not for humans and uh, we just drink rice stream and almond breeze and we we do apple juice and a lot of fruits and there's tons of tons of calcium in that so and I do uh, I'll show you I do t I've been doing this for about five years I do t a calcium magnesium and vitamin D and boron boron is from fish and I do that every day, and that really helps. And then I take uh, Iceland kelp, because I'm not a fish person. Uh, I do eat fish, but I, I don't eat it two times a week like you should. So I just take the kelp, and that seems to be working for me. Find out what works for you. Okay, this is how the mush looks with all the nuts and everything in it really filling too. Oh, and on the fruit thing, I don't eat cooked fruit because once you once you cook the fruit, it putrefies in your system. So, I just don't eat cooked fruit and a lot of you will not give that up and that's fine. But just know it's putrefying in there. And I don't eat fruit the rest of the day. Uh, I can eat fruit if I want, but I've got to wait four hours. I can't, if I've eaten a sandwich or something, I have to wait four hours. Where if I just eat fruit in the morning, I just have to wait 20 minutes and then I can go ahead and eat. So that's just how I do it. You don't mix your fruit. Oh, and another thing, I don't eat desserts. I don't make them and I don't eat them. They're not necessary for your diet. But I do treat myself um, every once, once in a while, maybe once a month or less, maybe every other month or, or if somebody offers it to me, I'll eat it because it is good. But don't we don't do that uh americans they they eat a lot of desserts and they're kind of overweight and have a lot of health problems so they're just not necessary for your diet but they are fun and also a way you can tell if you're healthy if you're eating right your hair um is your hair shiny is it uh and thick and thin that doesn't that's hereditary but if your hair is falling out and really bald spots, then that's not hereditary, especially for a girl. I don't know about the guys thing, but um, 
uh, it's just real important that you exercise and there's a triangle that you got to remember for your health it is spiritual physical and emotional and the, the triangle is the strongest shape that uh, you'll ever see in the carpenter world and so you find triangles in your life and in, your, in the healthy world you want to be emotionally, spiritually, and physically fit. You have to have to do all three of those every day. Every day do something on one of those triangles. Okay, and then uh, for dinner, I just, well, I made chicken enchiladas today. We're just finishing them up. Like a, that's just a tortilla with chicken in it and some cheese. Didn't even finish my mush. I can eat that tomorrow. It's just a lot to eat. And, and then for my greens, it's really hard to get greens, and I started this about five years ago, but I do this every night. Kind of cheating, but it's called perfect food. It's just the vegetables. Raw, there's like 47 vegetables in there, and it's really gross. Really gross, but one way to get your vegetables. And uh, it, they're just dried, so it's just my way of getting my vegetables because I... Grew up not doing vegetables very much, corn and peas, but um, but I I found discovered this one and this is just the way for me to do it and this is really improving my health it improved my health too uh, and made it a lot easier to get the vegetables so that's what I do for my veggies and uh, I don't know if this will help anybody but this this is how I get my energy and this is how. I uh, don't get sick. I do get colds maybe uh, once a year, where, uh, but I don't feel sick or anything. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say, you can tell how your insides are go working, if they're working good by, um, uh, you know, number two. You've got to have at least one of those a day. One or two or three would be even best. Okay, I'm going to take you shopping with me. And a thing to remember is I just stay on the outside aisles. I don't go in between. There's nothing in there but stuff that's canned and I don't know, you just don't need it. So we're going to stay on the outside aisles here. I had to get stuff for fruit cup first. Oh, that's a really good price. Get some strawberries. And I already got a pineapple at home. Let's get some corn. Okay, so you can see the outside aisle. This is the fruits and vegetables. Uh, just stay on the outside. That's a really good hint. Okay, the only time I go down an aisle is the baked good aisle. Where we get oils and sugars and spices and stuff, but this is the only one I go down. So, and there is one treat I must confess. This is my confession, especially dark chocolate chips. I, I get these and eat them. And this is my secret to fried chicken, Dixie Fry. Kind of hard to find, but Walmart is now selling it. I don't do any of the other stuff. Uh, just Dixie Fry. And I like the Mrs. Dash's original. I don't use the salt. And this is sugar I put in my mushes. It's just uh, sugar in the raw. And I do white, I do use white sugar, but it's not very much. And I don't think, I think it's fine for you, just not so much of it. And I do, I do go down the pasta aisle to get spaghetti. Uh, and of course, we got to hit the ice cream aisle. Get some cups of this for the kids. And we like the chocolate ice cream, I mean, chocolate almond breeze for the, for their drink. Now we're still on the outside of the aisles. This is where the meats are, and I just mostly get chicken and turkey. I don't get the beef. I haven't eaten beef. Well, I eat beef, but I, I just buy the turkey. And it's just, I don't know, it just works. And I try and buy the chicken that has not had any steroids, and you have to find that in your own area. So I don't want to deal with steroids. That was fun. I'm going to go check out now and take care.
Patch him up and then they'll be back again.